Yes. The looming talks between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio are still drawing a lot of mixed political reactions. In this video, I want us to have a look at a story captured by the standard. For the story is going to form the basis of our analysis right now. A section of Mount Kenya leaders met on Sunday night to review the new development with sources indicating that they were opposed to Ruto's talks with the opposition leader. The meeting in Runda, which went late into the night, was chaired by Kirinyaga Governor Anwe Guru and was attended by some governors and leaders from the region. Yes. So some Mount Kenya leaders met and from the reliable sources, their main mission was to plan on how to scuttle the Kenya Kwanzaa as immune stocks. In this video, I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand what's going on behind the scenes. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. The mountain leaders are our lord because of Raila Ruto's talks. And the main reason for that, in the event of a successful talk between the government and the opposition, they see themselves as people who will be left in the political cold, going on what was witnessed between Raila and Uhuru Kenyatta. That's their worry. So, what is the most probable outcome of the Raila Ruto talks? Let me start by saying this. A Raila Ruto talk will not lead into a handshake similar to what we saw between Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Molo Odinga. The simple reason being, William Ruto is, in, is still interested in defending his seat, assuming he will reach 2027 as Kenya's president. He still has that interest of defending his seat. Uhuru Kenyatta was retiring. I'm not just seeing a William Ruto who will have a handshake with Raila Odinga, something similar to what Uhuru had with Raila. And the main reason is what I've just explained, Ruto still has that ambition of defending his seat come 2027. So the talks, in my honest opinion, will most definitely collapse, or if at all they will succeed, then as time will be going by, these two parties will take, or rather will differ. Yes. An excuse will be found and these two warring camps will start fighting one another simply because of 2027. So I'm not seeing a, a, a very successful handshake between Ruto and Raila Odinga. The handshake can only be successful if Raila Odinga is not interested in any political seat or is not interested in supporting any Azimio principle or leader for 2027. In the event Raila still has that ambition of still going for 2027, or supporting somebody within Azimio, then the handshake between himself and William Ruto, if at all that handshake will be there, will not be successful. If he still has 
some political interests more so in Azimio. So Mount Kenya leaders should not worry much because the Raila Odinga I'm seeing is a person who most definitely will have a political interest and stake in 2027. Maybe himself, he will offer his candidature or he might support somebody within Azimion. So the handshake, in my honest opinion, cannot be successful if at all it will be there. <clears throat> and then secondly, the mountain is coming out as being very petty. Leaders from the mountain, they thrive on politics of hate and disunity. All along, all you have to do on the mountain to get votes is to abuse Raila Odinga and to paint Raila Odinga in bad picture, in a bad picture. That seems to be the the political currency still selling on the mountain. So these leaders, they must find a way of still antagonizing or being seen to be anti Raila Odinga. That speaks a, lo a lot about what might be going on on the ground. It appears the ground is still very naive politically and the ground is still stuck to the old politics of hate and division. Rail Odinga is not the problem. Mount Kenya elected leaders should serve their people without dropping in Raila Odinga's name. Something also coming out very clearly, in the event that the mountain decides to rebel, in the, if they decide to rebel, I'm seeing a people who are going to be excluded. Their rebellion will only be concentrated on the mountain and they will have exposed themselves as the biggest hindrance to peace in this country. From what happened just some weeks ago, it's a fact that so many Kenyans lost their lives. Kenyans are yearning for peace and Kenyans are yearning for the rule of law. What was witnessed some weeks ago, that was not the rule of law. It was pure anarchy. So by these leaders meeting to protest or to plan against a Raila Odinga, Raila Odinga Ruto stocks, I'm seeing this as just anarchists who are not interested in peace. That's coming out very, very clearly. Let me stop it there for now. But in case you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Yes. And to any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis.